Welcome back to Bakeness, y'all. Today, I'm gonna try making a meatloaf. The recipe we're trying today is Ina Garten's Easy Meatloaf recipe, which I'm hoping is as easy as it looks. So, first step, we're gonna cut up a bunch of onions and I'm gonna try not to cry. Hey, baby. Hello, welcome back to Garrett. Garrett, do the cook. Garrett, do the food. Garrett, do so much good food cook. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm chopping this into um, kind of like larger dice pieces. That doesn't make sense. I'm trying to go for a rough chop, rough chop. So I want it to be diced, but I don't want it to be finely diced. I want it to be something that there's still little bits of onion in the actual meatloaf. We have two very large white onions chopped up in this bowl. And the next step is to um, drizzle some olive oil in a pan that we heat it over medium low. We are going to saute these until they are nice and translucent. So I took my onions off the heat, and now I'm gonna add some chicken broth, uh, tomato paste, and this thing again, Worcestershire. I'm adding this. Yeah. Alright, so I have two and a half pounds of ground chuck along with some garlic, oregano, salt, and pepper. And then I'm going to take some breadcrumbs, um, two eggs that I've already beaten, and the rest of our onion mixture, and I'm going to stir that lightly with a fork. Now, Ina Garten says it's important to not um, mash it down. We're just trying to lightly combine everything together with a fork so that it doesn't get dense. So, this is where clean hands are important. I'm going to pour my meat mixture out onto a pan. What we're gonna do is shape it, probably with my hands, into a loaf shape. Last step before we put it in the oven, I'm gonna put a very hearty layer of ketchup right on the top and spread that out. And there you have it. Here's our meatloaf. Um, I'm gonna pop it in the oven with a dish of water beneath it. And my garden says that helps keep it nice and moist. So I'm gonna pop this bad boy in the oven for about an hour and then I'll be right back. So 
So, I don't think that I packed it um, tightly enough when I was forming it because it seems to have cracked despite all my best intentions, but it smells so good, y'all. So, I think it's still gonna taste good. And again, like I say, as long as it tastes good, I really don't care if it looks good. Um, so, we're gonna try it out. Let me cut myself a slice. Yeah, we're gonna go right here. Ooh, okay. It feels like it's well cooked, which is good. That was the one thing I was nervous about is I don't have a cooking thermometer to measure it with. Okay, this is definitely gonna fall apart. That's okay. I think that looks really yummy, y'all. What do you think? Oops, I spilled. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> now, we're gonna have a taste. Well done. I like I have to tell her well done. <laughs> this little baking YouTuber over here telling world renowned Food Network star Ina Garden that she did a good job. She doesn't need my validation, but she has it. Hmm. Yeah, I think this was a really good recipe. Pretty easy. It takes a while, but you kind of expect that with the meatloaf. Um, but honestly, a really easy one for beginners like me. And pretty fun to make. Um, not too complicated. Really just kind of put the ingredients together, have a yummy meal. This is going to feed my husband and I for several meals, which is very exciting. So yeah, I like it. That's it for today's video. Thank y'all for watching. If you liked it, please be sure and let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to try this for yourself, the recipe will be in the description. Go check out my blog and you'll be able to see all the steps and everything you need to make this meatloaf. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow in the next Bake Mix video.